Yo, what is up guys, Delboy here. So following Devin Haney's impressive win over Zawa Abdullayev this weekend, I've noticed a narrative that has been discussed in the boxing world over the last few days. And a ridiculous one at that. And that narrative is that Vasily Lomachenko is ducking 20-year-old Devin Haney, a guy who's literally just become mandatory challenger. First and foremost, where do we even start with this downright foolishness? Where do we even start? I couldn't believe it when I saw this narrative floating around. I honestly couldn't believe it. First and foremost, if you have been following the lightweight division, you would know what the plan is for Vasily Lermachenko. And bear in mind, therein lies the first problem. Most of these clowns do not watch the fights and they don't pay attention. They just jump on any old hype train, they'll see a couple of fights, and that's really it. Most of these guys have no clue what they're talking about for a start. But anyway, we all know what the plan was for Vasily Lomachenko for the longest. The plan was to become undisputed at lightweight. The goal is to fight the winner of Teofimo Lopez versus Richard Comey next. That was always the plan, that was always the goal, and listen... A lot of these same clowns who are accusing Lomachenko of ducking Devin Haney are the same people who say, well, listen, we want unification fights, we want undisputed champions, that is basically the gold standard. Well, at least it was when Terence Crawford became undisputed, but now Lomachenko wants to do it, it's a problem. If he fought Devin Haney next, by the way, which I'm not necessarily against, but if he fought Devin Haney next, that would push back an undisputed fight with the winner of Teofimo Lopez and Richard Comey. It would push that fight back, right? And if Lomachenko wants to wait for that fight, I've got no problem with it. Ultimately, the guy has one of the best resumes in boxing. In comparison to 99% of fighters out there today, he's gone above and beyond. So to say this guy is obligated to fight Devin Haney right away, and to say he's ducking is downright foolishness, I mean, again, as I said earlier, a lot of you guys really push undisputed when it suits, but, you know, not other times. Me personally, I don't particularly care about undisputed. Is it a good accolade? Yes. Is it something all boxers should strive for? Yes. But ultimately, as a boxing fan, all I care about is good fights. That's what I care about. So if I get Devin Haney next, no problem. If... Lomachenko wants to wait for the winner of Teofimo Lopez versus Richard Comey, no problem. No problem at all on my end. In fact, the winner of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez will actually be more proven than Devin Haney. You know, if Teofimo Lopez beats Richard Comey, then he deserves that Lomachenko fight much more than Devin Haney, let's be honest about it. And that would be a much better win than anything on Devin Haney's resume, therefore a more credible fight. And Richard Comey is already more proven than Devin Haney. So what's the problem? What's the problem? Both are really good fights. I'm sure if we do get the undisputed fight, it would happen in the first, you know, four months of 2020. So after that, there would be plenty of time for Devin Haney to get his shot. I don't see the problem and I don't see where this narrative is coming from. Quite frankly, it's ridiculous. And let's be honest about it. Can we just be honest about it? There's a certain section of fans out there who are desperate to see Vasily Lomachenko lose. And, you know, they'll they'll make these guys out to be boogeymen. And when Lomachenko beats them, the goalposts will be moved. Just like they were with Gary Russell Jr., Nicholas Walters, Guillermo Rigindial. Go back and look at the comments for the pre-fight videos on, on those fights. Look at the comments. Oh, Nicholas Walters, he's too big, he's too powerful, his jab, blah de blah blah he's going to knock Lomachenko out. Didn't happen, then these guys moved goalposts. L uh, Rigindial, oh, Rigindial, he's going to break Lomachenko's eye socket, he's going to break his jaw, he's, go he's going to expose him. Lomachenko's protected. Look what happened, goalposts got moved. So get out of here, man. If Lomachenko fights Devin Haney next, I know what's going to happen. If Lomachenko beats Devin Haney, the goalposts will be moved. Oh well, Devin Haney was only 20 years old. He was unproven. He was green. You know, we know the story already. But the pattern is out there. You've done it before. So listen, I've got no problem 
with Devin Haney fighting Lomachenko next. I think Devin Haney is a precocious talent. I believe he is the best talent in US boxing right now. So if Lomachenko takes that fight next, no problem on my end. And if he beat Devin Haney, he gets all the credit in the world from me. So listen, I don't particularly care who Lomachenko fights next, whether it's Haney or whether it's the undisputed fight. I'm not bothered. I'm happy either way as a boxing fan. All I care about is good fights. But a lot of you guys out there need to get your standards straight. Do you want undisputed? Do you not? Or does it only suit when it's your guy? You know, does it only suit then? I mean, where was the same energy to Javonta Davis? A guy who showed no ambition to unify at 130 and a guy who didn't want any parts of Lomachenko. Why, is it, why didn't he get the same energy? You know? Where's the same energy to, you know... Errol Spence in regards to Terence Crawford doesn't exist because it doesn't suit their agenda. You know, a lot of people out there, let's be honest, they are desperate for Lomachenko to lose. They are desperate for him to lose those belts because, you know, they just don't like his shine. They don't like the attention he's getting and they are very resentful and bitter about it. They are just desperate to see this man lose. Don't get it twisted. Fighters out there deserve criticism. Some fighters are far too inactive and they are not fighting good enough competition. Those fighters exist and those fighters should be criticised. Lomachenko isn't one of those guys, let's be honest about it. His resume in 13 or 14 fights is much better than the majority of active world level fighters. It just is. You can slice it and dice it however you want. It just is. And, um, and yeah, I think this guy does get treated harshly by a certain section of fans... And I've got to say, a lot of, and this is not just in regards to Lomachenko haters, this is just haters in general in boxing, like fan, like certain fan bases. I don't get how you can watch boxing with that perspective and that mindset, you know, that passive aggressive, bitter mindset. I don't get how you can watch boxing with that mindset and enjoy it. I've never understood it. For as long as I've been watching boxing and for as long as I've been online discussing boxing, you know, looking at social media, I just don't get these bitter, passive-aggressive, petty, feminine boxing fans how they can enjoy the sport that way, with, with that mindset. I just don't get it. A lot of these guys, man, have such negative auras. They just radiate negative energy, man. How you can enjoy fights like that, I, I don't know. Like, surely boxing is supposed to, like, you know, make you happy, you know, give you joy. It's, it's supposed to be something we enjoy. But man, a lot of these guys, man, you know, they they have they create hate driven content. You know, they'll they'll leave hate driven comments, and yeah, I I just don't understand it. And listen, I'm not sitting here saying Lomachenko is perfect at all. I'm not. If the guy pulls some fuckery, I'll criticize him. But the guy hasn't done that yet. He's not avoided any fights. In fact, the two fights he was accused of avoiding were Nicholas Walters and Guillermo Rigondeaux. He took both, and he won both. So come off it, man. Come off it. Devin Haney, very good talent, and if you have followed this channel for any length of time, you would know I rate this guy Devin Haney very highly. Like I said, I think he is the best young talent in US boxing right now. So this video is in no way a negative towards Devin Haney himself at all. It's towards the bandwagon fanboys who push certain narratives. And by the way, I want I want to uh, address one more thing. I've seen a few people out there, you know, lament Devin Haney for wanting to fight Lomachenko. I like that ambition. I like the fact that Devin Haney wants to fight the best guy in his division. He's not trying to pick up a vacant title. He's not trying to wait things out. He wants Lomachenko. And listen, I like that mindset. I like Devin Haney. I think he's a, a good kid with his head screwed on right. He's got ambition, and he's very talented. So listen, from Devin Haney's perspective, I think the guy's great. I really like the ambition and confidence. So, so don't get it twisted. This video isn't a critique of Devin Haney at all. In fact, really, it's got nothing to do with Devin Haney himself. Just the rabid haters and Lomachenko detractors. That's all. That's, that's who I'm addressing in this video. But like I said, you know... We we know the score with Lomachenko, we've seen it for the past few years, goalposts move, standards change, it is what it is, you know, and that, that in itself goes to show that this guy 
is one of the premier fighters in the sport, one of the best in the world, because these guys are holding him to that level of scrutiny. And they do that because, you know, deep down, they know he's doing more than their favourite fighters. That's just what it is, you know? And that's my opinion on the matter. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts, of course. Share your thoughts below. Peace.